Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. I have a follow up on this spline dynamics tutorial, which I did not too long ago. And I had some questions on if we could have spline dynamics, but somewhere towards the middle of the animation, one of the ends broke off and fell down. And I do have a way to do that, um, but there are some limitations which I can go over with you. So here's the setup. We have our spline dynamics set up and I'm gonna have something hit the uh, spline and it's gonna break off. So it'll look something like this. So this is a pretty easy um, setup for this kind of thing. Now what I can't figure out is how to have this spline break off at any other point. So you can see we have our spline. I can't figure out how to have it split off or break in the middle. If you guys know how to do that, please let me know in the comments, that would be awesome. Um, I know that, for instance, in cloth, if you have a force hit it at a certain velocity, it will tear but I can't figure out how to do that with splines except for on the ends. But if you do need to have the ends pop off, this will this technique will kind of help you with that. So let me turn off the one that I've already animated and here's a version that's not animated yet. So we just have our cube coming through and we need to figure out how to disable this end right here. So all it is is a constraint tag. You can see that we have our spline dynamics tag and then two constraint tags holding the left and the right. So this is just keyframing one property and the property is right here, it's influence. So we're gonna have an influence of 100, meaning it's completely stuck on to this edge here. And then right when the cube hits it, we're gonna drop that influence down to 0%. So we'll click on influence, we'll go forward one frame and hit zero and we'll keyframe that and we'll see what that looks like. So right now the cube will hit it and it's gonna pop off. So now it doesn't look super realistic. So what we're gonna actually do is keyframe a couple other parameters in the spline dynamics. We're gonna mess with our gravity. Um, so right now, as it hits it, it's gonna pop off and drop. What we want it to do is actually reverse the gravity. So we're gonna make a keyframe on gravity, go one frame down, and we're gonna actually increase the gravity to a positive number. So it's actually gonna pop up and we'll make a keyframe and then we'll go forward maybe five or six keyframes and then we'll drop that back down to say minus 20. And let's see what that looks like. So now it should just kind of like pop up and then start dropping, which is gonna make it a little bit more realistic. So that's obviously way too much. So we'll decrease the gravity a little bit. So let's take a look at that. Should have a little bit less of a pop now. So it's probably still a little bit too strong, but you get the idea. So it's nothing too crazy. I'm just keyframing some of these parameters. You can also go into the, um, the properties and play around with keyframing these so that at the moment it hits, maybe the stiffness uh, goes down a little bit. So it feels like there's a little bit more energy going through your cable. But like I said, I'd be really interested if any of you guys know a solution for having it split, say right down the middle. I can't figure it out. So if you could help me out, that would be awesome. Um, but anyway, I hope this helps you out at least. Thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.